in this activity, um, which is titled 6-6, -6, we're going to be creating an LM hosts file. And a problem we came across is we've installed an application, and the application uses NetBIOS names to contact the SQL server, um, the database. So the first thing we want to do is make sure we're logged on as an administrator. And um, go to Explorer. And we want to go to the um, Windows file folder and system 32 and our drivers folder and our etc. Um, so the, what we want to do here since it's not there is we're going to right click on our lmhost.sam and we're going to copy that and we want to right click on this folder here and we're just going to paste it and then I'm going to click on that and rename it simply LM hosts click on that and I want to open with a notepad okay now on, the, on a blank line at the end of the file okay I'm going to type in the IP address of our uh, SQL server. So it's 192.168.100 excuse me, dot one dot 103 and we're going to type in SQL server And then we want to click on File and Save. Okay, now we have created an LM host file for that SQL server. Okay, the next thing we want to do is reload the NetBIOS name cache. So I'm going to close out of this and go to my command prompt. Then I'm going to type nbtstat space hyphen r to reload it. Okay, um, now I want to view the contents. So I'm going to type in nbtstat hyphen c. And there is our SQL server. And the IP address of that server 192.168.1.103 um, like we created in the uh, LM host file so that will complete this activity on creating an LM host file in Windows Server 2003